Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and I'm thrilled to introduce you to an amazing solution that can transform the way you handle your clients' accounts and corporation tax. Are you tired of spending countless hours managing these tasks? Well, look no further than Nomi. Nomi is an innovative platform that streamlines the process of managing your clients' final accounts and corporation tax, saving you time and reducing the risk of errors. With its user-friendly interface, you will be able to generate account reports with ease and ensure compliance with tax regulations. But don't take our word for it. Join us for this uh, demonstration and see for yourself how Nomi can simplify your workflow and make your life easier. In this video, I will show you how to use our platform to streamline your tasks, leaving you with more time to focus on growing your business. Before I start, I would like to share the vision of the final accounts and the corporation tax module, which is to avoid the hassle of duplication of the information which is entered by the accountants. And in case you have updated the bookkeeping module, then the final accounts should do its magic and accounts will be ready at the click of a button. Of course, you have to always review them. And our goal is to make accounts finalization and the CT600 submission as easy as possible and super fast and we will continue to work on this goal. We aim to continually develop and improve the software. Now let's start with the dashboard for accountants, which is a practice management dashboard for year-end accounts and corporation tax returns. This is a super useful tool to manage all your due, de due dates, deadlines, various filters, and the various status. So I'll click on this final accounts dashboard on the left-hand side, and here we are. So we can see all the overdue accounts and the corporation tax deadlines along with the records on which you have still not started working. We also have a workflow through which uh, you can update the status of your work such as uh, in progress, on hold, awaiting approval, etc. And when it is getting due, that is one week, one month, three to six months. And if you click on the count, it will take you to that screen and the name of the companies will be listed there. You can check this for both that is accounts and the CT600. Now from this screen, you can, uh, if you click on the count, let's say this one, you can uh, download the report and also use various filter options. And you can send the reminder bulk emails and you can also SMS to the clients and the team members so that they can take necessary actions on time. This will again save you a lot of hassle. Again, when we go back to the dashboard, uh, there we have <coughs> the final accounts corporation tax due by accountants, which then shows you what is being done with the accounts or corporation tax records assigned to various accountants and whether they are working or if anything is getting delayed. Now uh, let's nav navigate to the individual dashboard of a company. So we'll just click on the company name from here quickly and We are redirected to the final accounts dashboard. Initially, it takes us to the bookkeeping because we have an active bookkeeping service as well. So if you have a final accounts, you can move it like you can go uh, on that dashboard separately under the client's menu. And from the bookkeeping module also, you can navigate on to the final accounts. Now on this dashboard, you can edit and view all the company details you can change the reporting standard you can check the trading status of the company you can view and compare the key figures of the current and the past year the deadlines are listed for the confirmation statement accounts and corporation tax confirmation statement is integrated with the company's house and the accounts in the ct600 are based on the logic of nine months and 12 months from the accounting period end in case you want to leave any notes internally then you may do so on this screen after this, we have the workflow. So this is more like a status management and this system at the moment does not automatically sends any notifications or reminders to client managers or clients, but you can use this system to send bulk emails and reminders to clients. Overall, this is a snapshot uh, of the stages of your client and is a great tool for effective client management and updating them. 
you can manage all your work by providing comments and updating the current work status any senior team member can keep a track of the work done through various statuses as this is linked with the practice dashboard here the checklist will also appear which you can create globally under agent hub settings and it shows you the submission status as well next is the documents So under documents, you can download the draft or final version of the or the uh, I mean uh, of the filleted or the full set of accounts, and you can also download the CT computation and CT 600, and any signed CT 600 and final accounts PDF will be updated here in case you want to upload any document for your reference, and then you can click on new attachment for that. The electronic receipt for any accounts file will also be shown under the documents. Now the very next step from here is the advisor tools. So why the advisor tools? Uh, because we have to, let's say the very, uh, we are not using the bookkeeping module and we are looking to import a trial balance. So what we'll do, we'll click on this trial balance entry. And as we click on the trial balance entry, we can import the data with the help of a sample file a csv sample if we have extracted the information from some uh, different software or we have that uh, already with us in the excel we can populate that information on the sample file and we can then choose the file once we download this populate the data then we can choose the file and upload it apart from this uh, we can also import the trial balance from zero and quickbooks these two different softwares so if your clients are using Xero or QuickBooks for bookkeeping, then you can also import the trial balance directly from these two softwares. And you can also post the trial balance through a journal. So the journal option is there. You can click on journals. And as you will click on journals, you can post a journal as well. And if you import a trial balance as well, then that also becomes a journal afterwards. Now, once the data is updated, like uh, as you'll post the trial balance, the accounts report will be uh, prepared and all the data is then updated in the software. So let me show you the filleted and the full set of accounts. So here we have the filleted accounts and the full set of accounts. So this is the filleted set of accounts and under the filleted accounts, we have the cover page, company information, statement of financial position and notes to the financial statement so you can check all this under the report and if you want to check the figures further like how the figures have been achieved you can just click on this and it will show you on this pop-up that how the figures have been updated and if you want to further drill down into this it will take you to the nominal ledger report so this is how you can uh, check the information check the data which you have entered This report can be submitted to the company's house, the filleted uh, one. After this, we can uh, proceed further with the full set of accounts. So full set of accounts we have where we have this cover page again, then the company information, then we have the director's report, then we have the accountant's report, income statement, statement of financial position, notes to the financial statement and detailed income statement. So even if you see like the income statement, uh, this is the accounting period 23 24 and for this period the turnover is 71 to 41 and if i show you in the bookkeeping the similar turnover is there so it's well integrated like the data flows from the bookkeeping directly into the final accounts now whatever data is there on this full set of accounts then this is further attached with the ct600 as an ixprl so if we'll see the ct600 there also we can check all the information and this information is pulled through from this full set of accounts now we'll uh, move towards the note templates and under the note templates uh, we can see that all the note in all all these notes are like loaded with the default note templates and you're free to make any changes Let's say you want to make a change in the employment note, then you have to edit and update the information. After that, you need to click on filleted or full set of accounts to see the impact. There are free form notes which can be used as per your requirements. So they are also provided to you. Now we have the account settings. So if I click on account settings, then 
uh, we can make the changes such as uh, which director will be the signatory uh, what is the company authorization code all these kind of uh, information is there and then we have the related information as well so that also we can check related to this uh, company settings so here also we can make the changes we can include or exclude the uh, accountant details and all and then we have the report settings so under the report settings we can change the reporting standard give page breaks as required in the full affiliated reports and we can also update the director's report and accountant's report as well so that also we can do on this report settings like principal activity and all that we can update it so once we have updated everything we are happy with this then we need to click on submit accounts and from here we can make submission so i'll just switch the accounting period and we get the submit label so like once finalized you will have to proceed further with the ct600 as well where the full set of accounts is automatically attached to the ct has ct600 as an ixbrl uh, you will have to post the corporation tax amount journal manually before submitting the accounts to company's house once submitted you will get a receipt from company's house which is an electronic proof that the submission has gone through successfully and this you can find under the documents section here on the left hand side you will require a presenter id and the presenter authentication code to submit the accounts to company's house we also have the amended accounts so using nomi you can submit amended accounts as well and it can update company's house avoiding the lengthy process of submitting through their portal so if there is something uh, let's say on the amended accounts we want to file then also we can file an amended account so we have to provide the details and then we can uh, do this <clears throat> and what you have to do for this you have to first internally mark the accounts as submitted then undo the submission and then click on the amended accounts tab which is present here and uh, right now it's not showing up but yeah on uh, that tab we have to click and we can submit the amended accounts and this will change the accounts tag on the report from unaudited filleted financial statement to amended account so here if we check the filleted accounts then uh, we can see that we will find a tag of the amended accounts uh, instead of unaudited filleted financial statements so this is how we can uh, complete a submission and now let's move towards the ct600 so the very first thing is the ct competition so this shows you the uh, profit and loss as per the accounts which are prepared under the final account so if you will check the accounts report and whatever profit is showing up it will also get displayed here because it says that the profit as per accounts now it also shows you uh, how the tax has been computed that is any add backs deductions etc and then the amount of profit that is available on which uh, corporation tax is computed and after this you can see various sections uh, like about this return tax calculation r and capital allowances and all these sections and the box values are in line with the main ct600 form so if i click on r and capital allowances here then you will see that the box values are there and these box values are in line with the main ct600 form so as you can see box number 650 655 656 all of them and let's say if we want to make any changes uh, in this in this particular ct600 so we have to just click on the ct adjustments and as we click on the ct adjustments then we can see that we have these various tabs like general profit and loss adjustments trading loss uh, any anything which we want to make change here we can do that uh, we can carry back the losses as well if last year there is a profit and then non trading loss we have so that also we can record any interest received and so the property loss or income we can record here like rental income and so rental profit then capital gain or loss and the capital allowance so all this we can update and it will have an impact on the ct600 so we can make the adjustments in the ct600 using the ct adjustments tab apart from this we also have ct other adjustments now if you want to update anything on this like uh, if you want to record r d expenditure or loans to participators then you can click here 
and you can then make the changes so and this will again have an impact on ct600 so let's say you made all the changes in the ct600 you have to just click on communications and when you click on communications you can schedule the emails from here you can send the email as well and you can send this for e-signature so you can click on e-sign as you click on e-sign you can then send this to the customer for approval and it will send the filleted accounts full set of accounts and the ct600 as an attachment and the client will sign the documents electronically as soon as they sign it electronically you will receive a notification and this signed document will be uploaded under documents portal Now let's say you are looking to schedule the email so how you can use it you have to just click on the schedule email and then you can schedule the email based on your own checklist or the predefined workflow such as the document request queries sent for the i mean queries for the client or fa draft accounts approval submission notice and these are the predefined templates as you can see here so you can use these templates and as you will use the template then the data will populate on this screen so you can see all the data is there so this is how you can schedule the email and you can put a date and a time and then the software will send the emails on your behalf if you are looking to send any sms you can send the sms as well that also you can do from uh, the final accounts and the corporation tax module so let's say you've got the approval now the only step we are left behind uh, is with the ct submission so we'll click on su submit ct 600 because we've got the approval from the customer and on the screen you can first click on like lock the return there is there's a label in the top right corner right now it is it says unlock return so we have to just lock the period as we lock the period we can do a test submission by clicking on validate submission here this will do a test submission on hmrc's test server and it will give you the result uh, approved means everything is good you can proceed further with actual submission to hmrc if it fails it will give you the error messages you can make the changes and then you can file the actual submission to hmrc so this is how you can uh, make a submission and as soon as you submit this to hmrc uh, IR mark is generated which is the electronic proof that you have made the submission and the submission is accepted by HMRC so you can quickly submit the accounts and CT600 from NOMI in very little time as the software is well integrated and automated and it saves a lot of time by removing the manual work as you have seen our platform is designed to simplify the process of managing your clients accounts and corporation tax with its seamless integration and automation nomi eliminates the need for manual work saving you valuable time so whether you're a small business owner or a seasoned accountant nomi can help you streamline your workflow and improve your productivity with just a few clicks you can submit the accounts and ct600 from nomi in no time we hope that you found this a video helpful and informative so please register now for a free trial and see for yourself and if you have any questions or concerns please don't hesitate to get in touch with us you can reach us by email at support at nomi.co.uk or by phone on 020-3021-2326 alternatively book a demo with us and we'll walk you through everything you need to know thank you for thank you for considering nomi